let's discuss one more case with this square and circle so figure is given it's good let's read the question in figure a square o p q r square o p q r is inscribed inscribed means inside in a quadrant o a q b quadrant o a q b of a circle if the radius of the circle is 6 root 2 cm find the area of shaded region okay so far so far we were dealing with the circle now we have quadrant of a circle right and we need to see that there is a square inside and we need to find the area of the shaded region so let's keep the step same because it's very evident that if you take first we need to do is what find the area of the quadrant done then you get the area of the square done and you need to subtract it and we need to make sure like we did in previous question that is any quantity missing there previously radius was missing so we find with the help of the Pythagoras theorem how because we related that property of the square the diagonal of square and diameter of the circle was equal let's see how we can relate something over here so let's frame the steps first that first step we need to find the area of quadrant so first step area of area of quadrant then second step area of area of square and third step we need to subtract them so we get the area of the shaded region very simple so let's start with the area of the quadrant do we have radius yes it is given 6 root 2 so radius i can write that radius is equal to 6 root 2 centimeter then let's find first step which is area of quadrant remember area of quadrant we need to find area of quadrant let's start so it is 1 by 4 pi r squared remember so 1 by 4 as it is pi we will take 22 by 7 into r is what 6 root 2 so 6 root 2 multiply by 6 root 2 so how can we do here 2 za and here let's say 11 za so here 11 za and 2 1 za and 3 za right so now let's come here that 11 into 3 into 6 first of all let's multiply 6 into 3 that is 18 18 into 11 so 18 into 11 8 here then 8 plus 1 9 and 1 so 198 198 and here root 2 into root 2 will give you 2 denominator 7 as it is now if you multiply this one so you can add as well 198 plus 198 8 and 8 will give you 16 6 carry over 1 9 and 9 18 plus 1 19 9 and one more carry over 1 2 3 so 396 by 7 centimeter square so that's the area of quadrant so my first step is done area of quadrant now area of square very very important how can we get the area of square area of square formula is side multiplied by side so do we have side either we need to have op pq qr or ro we don't have it but if you see over here this oq is diagonal of the square and oq is this circle of is the radius of the circle right so can i write diagonal diagonal of square is equal to radius radius of circle done so diagonal of a diagonal of a square is what oq so oq is equal to what's the value of the radius let's mention 6 root 2 so 6 root 2 centimeter now why am i talking about the diagonal you must be thinking so let's say side is a a here as well here and here now we know one property of the of the square 
Pythagoras theorem we can use. Previously, what we did, we had side and we find the diagonal. Now, we have diagonal and we are going to find the side. Let's talk about that. So, triangle OPQ, triangle OPQ and which angle is 90 degree? OPQ itself. So, OPQ is equal to 90 degree. Done? Now, let's use Pythagoras theorem. So, first of all, hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is opposite to 90 degree, which is OQ. So, I can write OQ square is equal to OP square plus this one PQ square. So, PQ square. Now, what is the value of OQ? We have it is 6 root 2. So, 6 root 2 whole square is equal to OP is A square and here also a square. So here square of 6 that is 36 and square of root 2 that is 2 is equal to 2a square. 2 will go into denominator. So 36 into 2 over 2 is equal to a square. So 2 to get cancelled. Now a square is equal to 36. So can I write directly a is equal to 6 centimeter. Done. So we have side of the square which is 6 cm. Now find let's find the area of square. So second step area of square area of square. What's the formula? It is a so let's multiply side multiply by side. So 6 multiply by 6 that is 36 cm square done. Now we are moving to the last step which is finding the area of shaded region. So, let's start area of area of shaded region shaded region then so what I'm going to do I need to subtract so I will subtract which two areas area of quadrant which is 3 9 6 over 7 minus area of square which is 36 so done now this 7 will be multiplied with this one so 7 6 are first of all let's write as it is 396 minus 7 6 are 42 2 4 carry over 7 3s are 21 21 plus 4 what 25 so and 7 denominator so let's subtract 6 minus 2 will give you 4 9 minus 5 will give you 4, 3 minus 2 will give you 1 over 7 centimeters square. So that's my final answer, area of the shaded region. Let's recall the steps. First of all, identify what are the shapes, which is quadrant given in question, square also given in question. What we were missing in this one is the side of the square, but indirectly diagonal of the square was given. So find the area of quadrant, then find the side of the square, find the area of the square and finally area of the shaded region.